everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. Um, it's really late here, it's almost uh, 10 o'clock. Um, got a, a late start to my uh, video tonight. Um, hope everyone had a good weekend, uh, is having a good weekend so far. Um, what we did today, we went to Playaway Indoor Park, it's just like an indoor playground, um, because it was a little bit chillier and rainy. So. Um, that's what we did today to burn off some energy and then when we came home we both had a little bit of a nap my son and I so that's why the video is so late um, and then he didn't go to bed very well tonight so I've already been in a couple times and my husband was just in to his room as well so hopefully he will be asleep soon and good thing the clocks go back tonight and we get an hour more of sleep so hopefully he will also sleep an hour more as well um, but we will see as far as the rest of the weekend goes uh, my parents are coming tomorrow um, just for lunch and for a quick little visit and um, yeah um, other than that I have um, a craft show next Saturday that I need to prepare for I did have Thursday and Friday off next week scheduled but that's not gonna happen anymore because um, I got a a big request um, for a client coming up. Um, I'm a recruiter, so I work for a staffing agency, and so I have a client that needs 35 people for November 18th, so there goes my time off, so, because I need to work on that. <laughs> um, so, so those days won't happen, and um, yeah, so I need to get everything organized ahead of time for that. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much all we have planned for the rest of the weekend. As far as haul goes, not much, except I got an art light from Costco. I saw it posted on, I just unplugged it to show you guys. But yeah, I just have it here beside my bed. Cause this is where I find that I need the most help with lighting. Um, and I just started using it last night and I seem to be happy with it. It was on sale for like $39.99. So, um, so I try it out. Uh, I was maybe going to get a second one, but I don't think I need a second one at this point. Cause the light I use, um, downstairs when I'm stitching, I can move it like closer to like my overhead, um, which is helpful. So, so far this has been helpful. I've been using it uh, with uh, stitching on my um, my Heaven and Earth design um, the last couple nights. So it's been very helpful, especially with the, the nights getting um, getting darker earlier. Um, yeah. And uh, I also just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I, I greatly appreciate all your support. And a special thanks to 911 Stitcher. Um, she left me a kind comment on my last video. Um, and so that's greatly appreciated. Um, I greatly um, enjoy watching her videos. So I'm glad she took some time to, to check out mine. And um, if you have unchecked out her videos, definitely do so. Um, it's 911 Stitcher, all one word on, on YouTube. So um, thank you again. As far as work in progresses go, uh, this week was a rough week. Uh, I was on call each morning this week, so um, I was responsible for taking any calls starting at 6 a.m. every day and then didn't usually leave the office before 5 um, very much. So it was uh, a long week, so I didn't get too much done. Um, Enchanted Stitching Facebook group, um, they had the four, four challenges as usual, but it was a shorter week because the month ended on Thursday. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, so because of that, there was only um, four days to complete the challenge. Again, I'm questioning my math here, but yeah, four days to complete the challenges. Um, and so I only got two of the challenges completed. So I'll just talk about the ones I did complete. Um, the one was to stitch on something that pertains to gambling and I chose to work on uh, the custom ornament that I've been working on and showed you. And I got it done for the most part. Yay! 
So I said that was a gamble because it's on 20 account even weave, one over, two over one, and um, because there was a deadline. That is next weekend. So it is pretty much done. Um, the only thing that needs to be added is the dog's name. I'm still just trying to determine if I'm going to put it in um, a three inch hoop or a four inch hoop. Um, that's going to depend on actually a new start I had today, which is a second ornament that this person requested. I can't show the pattern because it's just the pattern, but it's a pattern off of Etsy. And so it's another dog. And it is um, just a black like shepherd. The pattern has a sled under the shepherd as well, but the my, my the person that has asked me to make it doesn't want that. So it's just gonna be the dog and um, with a scarf. I really like how the scarf has turned out. And again, this was just a start today. Um, the pattern calls for a variety of different blacks and grays, um, but she's like, oh no, he's just black. So I got, um, what black am I using? Um, Iron Skillet is what I'm using for that. And um, so that's the um, color I'm using for him. And so he's stitching up quite quickly, which I thought he would. So I just need to see how big he's going to be to determine which um, um, hoop I'm going to put them in, if it's a three inch or four inch. Um, but yeah, so he also needs to be done by the weekend. And, uh, but again, he's co coming along quite quickly. I'm doing him on 18 count Ada. Yeah, so those, that's how that's progressing there. Um, so I was happy to get that done. Um, and then the other um, challenge that I completed for um, that Facebook group was to stitch on something red or with red or white, um, a red or white. So I started Chicken Joy. By Priscilla and Chelsea. Oops. And so I just started with the white there. And so that's coming together nicely. So I was glad to get that started. I think, oh no, I'm doing a Santa. I was, was going to say I thought that was my first Christmas one, but I'm working on a Prairie Schooler Santa too. Um, so that's all I got done for Enchanted Stitches. Um, now, as far as Enchanted Stitches go for the rest of the week, um, the new um, movie for November is Coco. So I actually watched it last night. I'd never seen it before. It was actually quite good. Um, I watched it again with my husband because he has never seen it. So I was actually surprised that um, it was so good. I, again, I, I don't know. We just, we just didn't, hadn't seen it. So I was pleasantly surprised with that. Um, so that's what the theme will be for November. For the rest of this week, though, they did a little bit of twist and said um, Oogie Boogie from um, Nightmare Before Christmas has taken over. And so to continue stitching on a piece related to gambling. Um, so for that, gambling or bugs or anything like that. Um, so for that, I decided to work on my Heaven and Earth design. So I'm saying it's a gamble because it's my biggest piece and it's so much confetti and also there are little bugs all the way on top of that sign. I am nowhere near the top of that sign, but there are little bugs. Um, so I've been working on that for the last two nights and actually I made some good progress and I actually started some new colors. So that's exciting. Look, there's blues. Yay. And there was like one chunk there of that color right there. That might be like 20 stitches all in a row. That's like the most stitches I put in of one color, I think yet, in one shot. So that was exciting <laughs> when, uh, when I was working on that tonight. And then so um, as far as the Dark October acrostics go, I'm just not very happy with how October and the last week ended for me. So, um, I got one of the challenges 100% completed. So, I guess that's better than nothing. So, um, the challenge that I got completed was the Dark October 
um, XS. So I got all those completed uh, to some degree. So this week um, I worked on Dark and Stormy Bookmark from the house. I'm losing stuff out of here. Who knew that just keeping random floss in a magazine was not the right thing to do. That goes there. Um, so the bark, a dark and stormy bookmark from uh, the cross stitch magazine. The Halloween edition. Losing more stuff. So that one. Sorry guys. Put that back in there before you lose it all. And so I got a lot done actually. I got that whole house done. I got everything from here up done. So I made quite the progress. So I have lots of fabric on the top and the bottom. So I'll, obviously I will shorten that up once I am done. Um, I probably am putting this away though for until closer to Halloween next year. Um, so that's that. Um, also, I started the October for Year of Celebrations. I haven't got September done yet, but had October, um, had enough of September done that I felt that I could move over to... Oh dear, I just lost a needle. Key. So we'll find that needle before I get up. <laughs> so I did... So that's September, and then I started October. So I just think I'm gonna do it all on the same piece of fabric and leave enough room. I think is how I'm going to manage that. Okay, note to self, look for that needle when the video's done. Um, and then next, uh, well, I worked on Chicken Joy, so I started that. You already saw that. The ornament, um, I worked on that, so that finish. Um, brouhaha. I think one day I was able to sneak out at lunch. Before, I don't know how that happened, but it happened, so that was good. So I got a little bit more done on him. I realized I was doing his nose in the wrong color. For some reason, I thought... His nose was white, so I had to frog that. Um, and then, yeah, took a little bit of progress on him. And again, he's probably going to be put away as well until um, closer to Halloween and fall next year. I think I'm going to do that with all my Halloween stuff. Um, ex with the exception of Field Mouse hello i think i that one i might keep out and use for like witchy wednesdays or um if i can fit it in in any of my challenges only because that one is um a little bit more involved um but i think the other um halloween stuff that i started i'll put away um on that note um does anyone know of any halloween project bags that are have gone on sale since halloween um because again still always on the lookout for um, project bags and again I understand why um, the cost is so and greatly ap um, appreciate the hard work that that goes in but um, I just need to be conscious of what I'm, I'm spending on on stuff like that so um, so if anyone knows of any sales on project bags specifically Halloween related let me know um, put me in direction to those sites um, I'd be happy to um, check those out and then so our oh and then Still continuing on that uh, acrostic challenge, I also did work on um, the rooster here. From Barnyard Christmas. Well, I'm gonna need to get some, another bag for this one because I just ripped the, the plastic. So Barnyard Christmas, working on the rooster. And made some good progress on him. 
I think he, oh, no, the rooster's up there. I was pointing to the chicken. There's the rooster. And I think he goes like this. Yeah. Yeah, made some good progress on him. The other name. I'm watching Law and Order SVU. You know, sometimes you like remember exactly what you're watching when you're stitching something. Remember, we were watching that. Okay. I'll put that back in later. Um, yeah. And then, so Autumn Harvest, Harvest Acrostic Challenge. Um, I didn't get it finished. I did, though, however, work on Happy Camper, which I didn't. Note. Um, I think that's the only one that I ended up working on in addition to on here. So I didn't get that completed, unfortunately. But that was, it was a lot and I didn't have very much crossover. So, so happy camper. And I think I just lost another needle, oh my God. So happy camper, that's that one. Maybe not. Sorry guys, this video is terrible. <laughs> Here is um, how far I got. I worked a little bit more on the truck, a little bit more on the cab. How's that? So yeah, that's way behind since that was a stitch along. Um, Fat Quarter Shop is doing another stitch along called Bringing Home the, the Tree. Um, also Lori Holt, Holt design. Um, so I think I will try to participate in that. Um, and so we'll see. They are doing, um, Prairie Schooler, Schooler Christmas Alphabet as well with Priscilla and Chelsea. Uh, I may get that pattern as well. I haven't decided yet. I'm kind of on the fence with that one. Um, yeah. So that is what I have been working on as far as, um, new plans. So the 24 hour cross stitch November acrostic challenge is that. So rewind time. I'll reprint this for my next video make it look nicer, but I had a change in heart the last minute. So I'll be working. What I have, um, slotted for this is, um, our, um, the rooster E endurance of the Hade. Um, winter, um, a W winter joy is, um, a pattern from here, from the, sorry, just cross stitch, um, Christmas ornament magazine. problem is I have too many um, too many of them flagged to find them quickly to joy oh, there you go look at that a little snowman in a sleigh so that's that one so start that one for W. Um, for I, I'm gonna do a hand embroidery piece uh, of mine. Um, it what it says uh, it takes a big heart to teach little minds. So I've stitched that for my daycare providers in the past, and it's been a big hit for for people in my um, on my Facebook page. So um, I'm gonna stitch one of those again. Um, also going to do November from your celebrations for N and then probably December from your celebrations. So that takes care of rewind. And then for time, I'm going to do work on the never ending cycle. And actually I worked on that today while we were at play away. So I got a little bit more done on laundry. I got a hazard on that. And then I'm also gonna do, I didn't bring the pattern up 
but the irony one from Hands On Design that goes along with it, I am going to do for the eye. That was a last minute change. And then I'm also going to start Moose Joy, which I think I showed you in the past because I had it slated for a new start last month, but I didn't get to it, but it's cute. So it's also from the Just Cross Stitch Christmas Magazine, and it doesn't want, there we go. So that's cute too. And then as far as E goes, I just put elephant. Um, I haven't narrowed down a pattern for that, um, but I'm pretty sure I have some elephant cross stitch patterns that I could uh, locate and stitch up. So that's the plan for that. I think that's everything. Sorry that this video is so disjointed and I seem to be all over the place. Um, I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for me. Hopefully in my next video, I will be a little bit more together and know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone has a good weekend. Um, I am not good with time zones and how all that works, but if you are in a time zone that you put your clock back tonight, make sure you do that. I think it's all in North America, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that, that happens tonight and, um, yeah, I hope everyone has a, has a good, um, week coming up and, um, and I, and also I, I forgot to talk about Halloween. Hopefully everyone had a good Halloween. Um, my son did, the costume worked out well. His favorite part was handing out candy and, um, yeah, so. Um, that all worked out well. It was supposed to rain a lot on Halloween, but it didn't rain till after we went out. So we, it, it, yeah, it was dry exactly for the time that we were at. So that was good. And it wasn't overly cold. So, um, it was actually a really good night. So that's that. Okay. For, for real, I'm going to say good night and, uh, I hope everyone has a good week. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.